Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on components of a post set that are upper bound, lower bound, least upper bound and greatest lower bound that can be explained with one example problem. In the previous video, we are already discussed about one more example problem. If anybody wants, please refer that video. Now, in this video, we have to discuss this problem. For the post set, A comma less than or equal to and its Hussey diagram is shown below. Find all upper bounds, all lower bounds, least upper bound and greatest lower bound for the subset B is equal to set of 3 comma 4 comma 5. Okay. Here, this is the Hussey diagram for a comma less than or equal to where a contains the finite set of elements that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And B is a subset of capital A where B is equal to set of 3 comma 4 comma 5. Okay. Now, we have to find out upper bound of this subset set of 3 comma 4 comma 5 lower bound of set of 3 comma 4 comma 5 and least upper bound of set of 3 comma 4 comma 5 and greatest lower bound of set of 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay so first one is upper bound of set of 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay so for upper bounds Okay, we have to find this relation. Okay, so B to A. So, what is the meaning of B to A? For each and every element of B is related with which elements of set A? Okay, so for example, uh, we can take element 3. 3 is related with which elements of set A? And 4 is related with which elements of set B? And 5 is related with which elements of set B? Once we are finding out what are the common elements are there, that common elements belongs to the upper bound of set of 3, 4, 5. This is the procedure we have to follow. Next, for lower bound, so, A, con A to B relation is followed. For each and every element of set A is related with which elements of set B. Okay. This is the logic we have to follow for finding out the lower bound. Okay. Once we are getting the upper bound, we have to find out the least upper bound. Once we are getting the lower bounds, we have to find out the greatest lower bounds. Okay. So, first one is upper bound of B. Okay. Now, I am taking the relation B to A. Okay. First, I am taking element 3. We have to find out the upper bound of 3. Okay. So, upper bound of upper bounds of 3 is okay first i am taking element 3 okay so 3 is related with 1 no 3 is not related with 1 because in the hussey diagram downward relation is not considered okay next 3 is related with 2 it is not considered because downward relation is not considered okay next one 3 is related with 3? Yes. 3 is related with 3. Next one. 3 is related with 4? There is no relation between 3 and 4. Okay. Next one. 3 is related with 5? Yes. 3 is related with 5. Next one. 3 is related with 6? Yes. 3 is related with 6. So, we are considered. Okay. Next, I am taking element 4. 4 is related with 1. It is not considered because it is a downward relation. Next, 4 is related with 2. It is not considered because it is a downward relation. Next, 4 is related with 3. There is 
no relation between 4 and 3. 4 is related with 4, yes. Next one, 4 is related with 5, yes. 4 is related with 6, yes. Okay. Next, I am taking another element that is a 5. Okay. 5 is related with 1. It is a downward relation is there. Downward relation is not considered. Okay. 5 is related with 2. This is a downward relation. It is not considered in Hussey diagram. 5 relation with 3. It is also a downward relation. It is not considered. 5 is related with 4. It is a downward relation. It is not considered. 5 is related with 5. Yes. Next, 5 is related with the 6. There is no relation between 5 and 6. Okay. So, we are finding out for each and every element of B, this element is related with whatever the elements in set A. Okay. Now, after finding out, okay, now we have to find out the, therefore, upper bound of upper bounds of set B is equal to, so whatever the common elements between them, here 3, 3 is not there, here 5, yes 5 is there, here 5 is there, so 5 is the common element here and here, okay. Next 6, okay, 6 here it is there and here also there, okay. So, upper bounds of B is equal to, okay, upper bound of, upper bound of 3 intersection, upper bound of 4 intersection, upper bound of Okay, upper bound of 3 is nothing but set of 3 comma 5 comma 6. Intersection, upper bound of 4 is nothing but 4 comma 5 comma 6. Intersection, upper bound of 5 is nothing but 5. Okay, so what are the common elements between them? So that is, what are the common elements? That is 5. Okay, so therefore upper bound of B is 5. Okay. So, this is the set of B, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, for the upper bound of 3, 4, 5 is 5. Okay. Next. Go for uh, lower bound of B. Okay. For lower bound of B, we have to consider this relation. For every element of set A is related with which elements of set B. Okay. First, I am taking element 1. Okay, so 1 is related with 3. Yes, 1 is related with 3 by using the transitive property. 1 is related with 2. 2 is related with 3. 1 is also related with 3. Okay, next 1 is related with 4. Yes, 1 is related with 4 by using the transitive property. 1 is related to 2. 2 is related to 4. 1 is also related to 4. Okay. Next one, 1 is related with 5. Yes, 1 is related by using this path. Okay. Next one, I am taking another element that is a 2. Okay. So, 2 is related with 3. Yes, 2 is related with 3. Okay. Next one, 2 is related with 4. Yes, 2 is also related with 4. Next, 2 is related with 5. Yes, by using the transitive property, 2 is related with 3. 3 is related with 5. 2 is also related with 5. Okay, next. Next, I am taking element 3. 3 is related with 3. Yes. 3 is related with 4. No. Next, 3 is related with 5. Yes. Next one. Next element is 4. 4 is related with 3. No. 4 is related with 4. Yes. 4 is related with 5. 4 is related with 5. Yes. Next. Next element 5. 
5 is related with 3, downward relation, it is not possible. 5 is related with 4, it is also downward relation, it is not possible. 5 is related with 5. Okay. Next element 6. 6 is related with 3. 6 is related with 3. Downward relation, it is not possible. 6 is related with 4. Downward relation, it is not considered. 6 is related with 5. There is no relation between 6 and 5. Okay. So, here this is nil. Okay. So, here element 1 and element 2 contains element 1 and element 2 are related with all the elements of set B. Element 1 is related with 3, 4, 5. Element 2 is related with 3, 4, 5. So, only 1 and 2 are considered as a lower bound for B. So, therefore, lower bound, lower bound of B is equal to set of 1 comma 2. Okay. Now, observing this, this set 3, 4, 5. So, 3, 4, 5. For this subset, what are the lower bounds? 1 and 2. Okay. So, this is 1 and 2. Next one. So, this is the uh, lower bound and uh, this is the upper bound. Okay. Next, what is the least upper bound of B? Once we are finding out the upper bound, okay. So, least upper bound of B is nothing but it contains a unique element. Then it becomes the least upper bound. So, least upper bound of B is 5. Okay. Next one. Greatest lower bound of B. Okay, what are the lower bounds for uh, B? So, that is 1 and 2. Okay, so 1 and 2, 1 and 2. Among them, which is the greatest element? So, that is a 2. 2 is the greatest element. Okay, among the lower bounds of B, which one is the greatest? Greatest is among the lower bounds of B. Which one is greater? That is a 2. 2 is the greatest lower bound of B. So, for the set 3, 4, 5, 1 and 2 are the greatest lower bound. Among the two, among the two lower bounds, which one is greatest? That is 2. 2 is the greatest. So, this is the greatest lower bound. Next one. For the set 3, 4, 5, what are the low, upper bounds? Only 5. So, one element is that is also a least element. So, least upper bound of B is nothing but 5. Okay. Among the lower bounds, okay, which one is least? Only one element is uh, there that is the least upper bound of 5. Okay. So, least upper bound of B is 5. Least greatest lower bound of B is 2. And the lower bound of B is set of 1 comma 2. And the upper bounds of B is only set of 5. Okay. So, this is the, in this way, we have to solve the a given problem. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, Divvela Srinivasarao. So, among the three, common element is 5. So, that 5 is considered as upper bound. Thank you.